Aloha, this is uh, Bob Laudick. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm sitting in the brand new 2017 Honda Ridgeline, uh, and this happens to be the black edition, once again, the uh, highest level. Uh, so we got a wonderful uh, infotainment system in here. I wanted to cover a little bit about your audio app in here. So once you've got the car started up, you can bring up uh, this through the home button, and then I'm gonna get into the audio, okay? So this gets you um, some pretty good ideas of what the radio now looks like. Uh, it's very easy to tune. You simply hit the tune button. And let's say we wanted to have this 96.3 on this button number one over here. So we're on 96.3 here. You simply hold the button here for a few seconds. Now it becomes 96.3. So you can tune it, select the station, hold the button, relatively simple. So this is uh, true, for, of course, for FM and AM. You can go into your source here. And this is going to show you all the different uh, apps available. You've got FM, AM, Sirius XM uh, satellite. Uh, unfortunately, where we live here in Hawaii, uh, we don't receive the signal, but it would be really nice if we did. Uh, you've got a USB connection where you can connect a USB device uh, such as an iPod and uh, pipe in music. You've got one specifically for the iPod with a USB. Uh, you've got Pandora. So if you have Pandora set up on your smartphone, you can then... Um, turn on Pandora, the phone will ask you for a one-time authorization, and then from then on, uh, you can just turn on the Pandora. But the only thing you got to be careful with there is if you um, have a limited data plan, you will eat up data, so be careful on that. Uh, you've got another app here for uh, other things. Uh, I think you can get into other type of devices or even looking at Spotify, these type of things. And then you've got uh, your um, Bluetooth. So if you keep music on your phone, for example, I have an iPhone, if I've got an iPod inside there, if I've got music in there, I don't even have to pair, I don't even have to wire the phone. I just hit the Bluetooth and it will find the music for me and start playing. And of course, you got an auxiliary jack as well, which I, I don't think is going to be the most popular, but you do have an aux jack and you do have uh, multiple USB ports here in the car. So this is a, a really good infotainment system. Uh, very seamless to use and uh, I'm getting great input from my clients uh, from my other vehicles with this infotainment system. They, they like the integration and its simplicity. So uh, that kind of wraps up uh, this portion of the video. Uh, thanks for listening.